How you doing, ladies and gents? As you can see, we are back in the basement and we are quarantined for a special edition or a special episode just today. The reason I'm bringing this back is because I actually did in fact catch the Rona. Uh, I am currently tested positive as of last Friday. Uh, today's Monday, January 11th. Now, if you're new to the channel or newer to the channel, you may not know that back last March when this pandemic started, uh, New Jersey deemed that dealerships were non-essential businesses. So sales departments were closed. So basically I came home for about 35 to 40 days where we were technically unemployed. Now I couldn't just stay home and watch TV and do nothing. I had to keep myself occupied. Uh, plus back then, no one really knew what was going on and how serious this was gonna be and all that sort of stuff. So we basically were staying inside. So I decided to make a video every day <coughs> while I was home and I called it the quarantine uh, series. And there's a playlist of like 35 videos, which I will link at the end of this video, just in case you wanted to watch it. Uh, it basically is just a new video every day talking all different types of stuff. You know, cars that I've had in the past, Hess truck collection, um, zero percent on cars, what that's all about. You know, just a little bit of everything. It was fun to do. It kept me, uh, it kept me focused and it kept me to a schedule while I was technically unemployed. Uh, so I didn't in fact lose my sanity. Uh, but now we're back, like I said, for quarantine, just a special edition just for today. I wanna just discuss with you like what it's been like for me when I realized I had some symptoms and uh, you know the experience, the experience so far. Like I said, today's Monday, January 11th. Uh, if I go back a week, to Tuesday, I'm off from work on Tuesdays, but I had to go in just to get like a delivery done. So I was there for like an hour, hour and a half. And I sort of started having a cough that day. Now that day, I didn't think that cough was anything really to worry about because it was no different than any cough I've really had in the past. I also didn't think it was anything to worry about because I thought it was somewhat self-inflicted by the activities I had been doing up until that point. Now for Christmas, my family gets together, we each get a name, you know, one of my parents, sisters, brother-in-law, whoever, and we have to basically craft something for that item. So we come up with new rules every year. It's been going on for a number of years. Every year we say we're never gonna do it again because it's, it's, it's a pain in the neck, yet we still always find a way to do something. And it, it truly is fun and it's a, it's a great experience. It's, the problem is we always wait till last minute to get the stuff done. So like every other year, I waited till last minute, but I was building a birdhouse uh, for my father. So this birdhouse was primarily made out of wood. Um, I'm cutting wood, I'm sanding wood. Um, I'm using the shop back, there's sawdust all over the place. You know, I kind of felt that doing that for five or six days straight is what irritated, uh, irritated my, my throat in a sense, and that's what gave me the cough. It's a really nice birdhouse though. I individually cut shingles from peel and stick shingles to put on the roof of this birdhouse. Uh, like I said, it's primarily made out of wood. Uh, you can see it's got, you know, what looks like aluminum siding around the sides, which is basically just painted wood. I made little windows and all that sort of stuff. If you look at the front face of the house, I used a Dremel tool to kind of give it some texture and, and kind of give it the, the look of what the shingles actually look like on the house. Um, the only thing I didn't do with it was actually drill a hole for the birds to get in. Uh, I didn't do that and I wanted to put some sort of moss over the perimeter around where the bird seat is because the house has a, a front yard with hedges around it. I just didn't get a chance to do that. We actually celebrated our Christmas the Sunday after New Year's. Um, so I, I was doing this between Christmas and New Year's Day um, in a sense, it wasn't something from Christmas. So again, that's why I felt like maybe all the dust and all the sawdust and all the things that I was sort of breathing in while building this project were what caused the cough. Turns out that wasn't really true. Um, but anyway, I fell asleep Tuesday night, woke up Wednesday morning. Now Wednesday morning when I woke up, I had the cough, I had some congestion and I had muscle pain in my legs. Uh, you know, almost like muscle pain I would have in my legs after running like a 15 or an 18, 20 mile run. You know, you had that muscle soreness and I hadn't done any running or anything like that since the end of the year. Um, so I knew it wasn't caused by that. I called work, spoke to Sal and said, Sal, listen, I'm a little congested. I got a bit of a cough. I got some muscle soreness. Let me take like two hours uh, off in the morning here, just like get in the shower and just kind of see how I feel in an hour or two, but I'll be, I'll be fine. I'll come into work. And his first reaction was, well, hang on, you got some symptoms there that might be the coronavirus, so maybe you should just stay home for the day. So I said, all right, let me do that. So I stayed home for the day. I did find out later that day that somebody I'm in contact with did in fact test positive. So that made me think like, okay, I better get a test. I'm showing some symptoms. I've been in contact with somebody who also just tested positive. Let me go find out. So I set up an appointment for Friday morning. Uh, and that was pretty much it. I rested all day Wednesday. <clears throat> Thursday morning, I woke up and, uh, you know, I still had to cough a little bit, but it was less. Um, you know, I had no breathing issues. I had no fever. I had no nausea. I had no other symptoms other than uh, really muscle soreness, um, chills. I would get like cold chills and, uh, and the cough. 
Now, Thursday, I kind of rested all day. I didn't really do much. Thursday night, a little hard to sleep because of the back pain. I did take an Advil PM just to kind of knock myself out. And then Friday morning, I woke up and I went over to the doctor to get the test done. So Friday morning, I wake up to go over to get the test done. I was at the doctor's office that I had found that does the rapid test. So you get your results in like 20 minutes. Uh, you pull up, they had like a little makeshift uh, shed or a little structure there that you walk up to. They fill out a couple quick uh, forms. You sign off on it. They charge 75 bucks. Uh, you know, so you pay that and then they administer the test. So you kind of lean your head back, they put this thing in and I don't know, I mean, I don't know how far back it went, but what I can tell you is that as it went back in and she swirled that thing around, it literally made my eyes tear immediately and I couldn't even open my eyes during the test. So then she went into the other nostril and she does the same thing, swirls around maybe like eight or nine times. Um, you know, it was probably the most uncomfortable thing that I felt throughout this whole process. Uh, and you know, it just, like I said, it made my eyes tear, my eyes closed. I remember I couldn't even open my eyes after the test. Like they were tearing and they were so bad. Um, and I actually jumped in the car and I took this picture of myself. You know, you can see how much my eyes are tearing and how watery they were. Um, but I sat in the car for 20 minutes. I went back over, they had the results. They said, yeah, you tested positive. If you want, you can use us for your primary care physician, do a little virtual, whatever. I said, I'll, I'll be fine. And I just headed back home. Um, you know, my wife and I are staying separate, which is, which is pretty good. She so far has no symptoms whatsoever, which is great. We've been doing a good job of, of staying apart. Um, you know, even like now I'm not wearing a mask downstairs here. Uh, she never comes down here when I'm upstairs in, you know, the kitchen or anything like that. If, uh, you know, if she's anywhere near me, which we're, we're keeping apart, um, I make sure I wear a mask and I just retire back to the guest bedroom and, and kind of hang out in there. But, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, this has pretty much been what it's like for me. So, I got the positive test. Um, I can't go back to work, obviously, for maybe another, we're thinking maybe towards the end of this week, Friday or Saturday. But, um, you know, by the time I got the test, it went to a Friday and then woke up like Saturday morning. I feel fine. Uh, today uh, or Sunday, I felt fine. Today, I felt fine. You know, so I just have a small cough, which you've been hearing in the video, which is very, very sporadic. That's about it. You know, so I'm a fortunate one uh, that has some mild symptoms. Uh, I'll get through it and it'll be... Uh, <clears throat> it'll be a thing of the past <coughs> for now I'm just keeping myself occupied with you know watching some movies TV shows some projects things like that uh, I did build the Saturn V rocket uh, Lego rocket uh, which was uh, fun to do very relaxing you know you grab the book you grab all your pieces and you put it together while you're watching a movie or something like that my buddy actually sent me this him and his wife this is the uh, Lego International Space Station so I got another little project I can I can build uh, which is you know just fun it's something to do and uh, yeah, this is it. This is what happens when you're quarantined. Again, this is only gonna be one video just today. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll get back to the dealership stuff as soon as I get back to the store. Hopefully that Shelby GT350 or whatever that was is still there so I can put a video together on that. And uh, I wish all you guys you know, a healthy time out there. Stay safe. Um, I, feel like I'm in, I feel like I'm in very good shape. I'm, I'm 40 years old. I'm probably in the best shape of my life. Uh, you know, if you follow my Instagram, you realize I just ran a thousand miles last year, 408 miles of that was in the last 70 days of the, of the year. You know, I'm pretty physically fit. I eat right. I drink a lot of water. I don't smoke. I don't vape, nothing like that. So, you know, when you have something like a virus that goes around like this, any edge you can have, uh, as far as strength to fight against it is a positive. So control what you can control. You can control your exercise, you can control your diet, you can control your water intake. You can do the things that are gonna help you combat or fight something like this off in a more you know efficient way. So hopefully, you know, that's probably why um, my symptoms have been pretty mild. And um, you know, listen, worth it. You know, get your health, get your health right. It's worth it.